हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल एडवोकेट अमित कुमार गुप्ता इन माई सीरीज ऑन द इनकम टैक्स केसेस द केस विच आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे इज ऑन डीम डिविडेंट द केस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द नेम ऑफ द केस इज असिस्टेंट कमिश्नर ऑफ इनकम टैक्स वर्सेज कृष्णा कॉयल कटर्स प्राइवेट लिमिटेड दिस केस हैज बिन डिसाइडेड on 6th july 2021 and the matter has been reported in 98 itr tribunal at page number 650 and the matter has been decided by ahmedabad itat section 2 subsection 22 clause e says about deemed dividend basically this section was introduced where the companies were trying to give the benefit to the shareholders by not paying the dividend distribution tax or by avoiding the tax the companies were giving advances the companies were giving loans to the shareholders which were outstanding for a long period of time no interest was being received by the companies and the shareholders were enjoying that money for their personal benefits it means that section 2 subsection 22 clause e does not make any bar of giving loans to the shareholders if this loan is for the business purposes if this loan is not for the personal benefit of the shareholders if this loan is for the genuine business transactions and if the interest is charged on those loans in this particular case the business of the assessee and the business of the loan giver was the same the assessee was holding 21% share holding into the company of the lender and the lender was holding near about 40% shares into the assessee company interest was being charged by the lender company from the assessee but the assessing officer ignored all these facts of the case the assessing officer didn't consider that this transaction was purely a business transactions both the assessee and the lender company were having the business transactions the business of both the parties both the lender and the assessee was the same so the assessing officer simply treated this loan amount as deemed dividend into the hands of the assessee the assessee went to the cit appeal cit appeal appreciated all the facts and gave relief to the assessee that is why the department went to the itat which we see that whether it is a strong case whether it is a fit case or not the department goes to the appeal like nothing the itat also approved the order of the cit appeal and didn't find any fault into the order of the cit appeal and said that in the present facts and circumstances of the case the present transaction does not fall into the category of deemed dividend it does not qualify to be as a deemed dividend and all the facts and circumstances say that this was a business transaction interest was being charged by the lender company from the ssc it was not for the personal benefit of the ssc there was no iota of evidence that this transaction was given just to avoid any dividend distribution tax or any tax in the hands of the assessee so it cannot be said that in the present circumstances that this is a deemed dividend transaction friends we see that whenever the department finds that there is a loan given by a company to a person who is holding uh, majority of the shareholders or a substantial interest Uh, i should say then they try to invoke this section but this section is not an automatic section that if any loan has been given and the shareholder is holding substantial interest then this section does not apply automatically the facts and circumstances is to be seen and if it appears that and the fact says that this transaction has been done just to give a personal benefit to the shareholder and it is not for the business purposes only then the deemed dividend can be uh, taken from the ssc and the transaction will qualify as a deemed dividend 
friends at the end of this video once again i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is assistant commissioner of income tax versus krishna koel cutters private limited friends at the end of this video i appeal to you that uh, before relying on the video you just go through the full version of the case read between the lines only then you will able to relate any case with your case because the facts and circumstances of each case may differ so just to uh, make sure that you can make you best use of this video just go through the uh, full text of the judgment thank you friends